Hello and welcome everybody to Entangled Frequencies, the channel all about music making and sound design. In this episode I want to show you a sound that I made. Uh, the original sample was recorded with my portable audio recorder and uh, yeah, then I made an ambient sound uh, kind of interesting talking thingy for my compositions. But not long of a talk, let's just head over and get an impression what the sound actually sounds like. So uh, I just play it. Yeah, that's the sound. Let's uh, listen to it within a composition. Use it as well as some riser for the break. So yeah, that's the sound. Uh, how did we get the sound? Uh, I copied the track so that I can uh, just show it to you. I will deactivate everything uh, of modulation I uh, applied. And uh, yeah, that's the original sound. Let's just check it. Wait a second uh, so that you can see. Yeah, that's some kind of a nasty sample. Someone's uh, using a shovel. Uh, some people are talking in the background and the wind is uh, blowing into our microphone. So um, yeah, nothing really exciting to listen to. But uh, yeah, then I started to modify it. And first of all, I reversed the sample. Sounding a little bit more interesting. And uh, yeah, then the most uh, important modulation of this thing is uh, the frequency modulation I added. So I added a oscillator, a sine oscillator uh, with the highest amplitude that is modulating our original waveform. And uh, I set the envelope to uh, add a little bit more of a peak and so on and so on. Uh, let's just listen to it now. Lower pitch. So it still has a pretty hard attack. So we are uh, gonna shift the attack to uh, whatever, like 200 milliseconds. So it's getting more louder. And uh, yeah, now we have a pretty nice sound. We need to eliminate all in the uh, lower frequency range because there is our bass line and our kick and we don't want to have some, some muddy component there. So I added an equalizer. Sounds more soft and uh, the wind blowing uh, that you could hear earlier now disappeared. And uh, then I added a little compression and a small reverberation. In between, uh, what I have to say is that I uh, gained the uh, volume or I put the gain from the volume a little bit more up because uh, as you can see in the sample here, we have a very low amplitude of volume and uh, I wanted to make it a little louder and uh, put on a limiter to just cut off uh, the loudest parts and uh, yeah, then uh, added a sidechain compression so that uh, the sample gives room for our kick drum. Uh, so listen. Yeah, that's, uh, that's actually it. That's the sound uh, and it was uh, kind of easy to do, not uh, really a lot of modulation 
And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, learned something, and as always, groove on. <laughs>